Today we're going to do um, a rocket yoga inspired class. Rocket yoga is also um, a style that's inspired in Ashtanga yoga. Ashtanga yoga is a style of yoga that's developed the last hundred years. So it's not like any of this is thousands of years old, although the poses are there, have been there for millennia in a sense. Like since 1800s, we have Hatha Yoga Pradipika, so we have some idea of the Hatha Yoga poses, but those are already practiced. So what I'm saying is that everything we're doing nowadays at the yoga studios, when it comes to physical practice, is quite modern, quite new. But it is, of course, inspired in older practices. Now, the rocket yoga practice tries to make the Ashtanga yoga practice a bit more accessible in that there's no lotus crazy things and uh, we're doing things that are healthier for our body instead of assuming that we have the body of an Indian 16 year old, which is not the case. So hopefully you'll find this more accessible. At the same time, the rocket yoga practice, it is a strong yoga practice. So physically it is demanding, do your best and enjoy. Everything we do will be familiar because again, it's inspired in the inspiration that I use in my other classes for vinyasa. Uh, but just stay open to it and enjoy. We'll start at the top of our mat. Feet together or hip distance apart with the big toes touching, the heels slightly apart so that the second toes are facing forward. But again, if this is not very comfortable, separate your feet hip distance apart so that you feel a bit more grounded and so that you feel that you have some more access to your pelvis. Extend your arms by your sides and find an internal rotation of the arms. So find your palms facing your torso. And then from that internal rotation, pull the shoulders back to open up the chest. Pick up the back of the skull, relax the face. And then from here, we'll bring our hands to heart center and we'll start by centering. Close your eyes, relax the muscles of the face, relax any holding patterns in the body. Press down into the big toe mounds, pinky toe mounds and heels of the feet and feel a lift from the inner arches, the outer arches and the transversal arches. Feel a lift from the pelvic floor, lift from the navel, second lower belly in and lifting up and pick up the back bottom ribs. Keep the shoulders pulling back with the arms in internal rotation and keep the back of the skull reaching up, relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw. We'll chant OM, make it an articulate all sound. Park in the center of your chest, just the point where your thumbs are touching. Inhale for OM. Keep your arms by your sides, pull the shoulders back, reach up to the back of the scalp. Inhale your arms up to the sky, reach up. And then exhale, fold over the legs. We'll stay standing for a couple of breaths. We'll just inhale and extend the chest forward. And exhale, fold over the legs again. If you need to bend the knees, bend the knees. Inhale, kick up the chest, press down into the hands. And exhale, shift the weight forward as you fold over the legs. One more time, inhale, drop your shoulders. And then exhale, fold over the legs. Spread the balls of the feet down and inhale, rise up. Reach up, gaze up. And exhale, arms by your side, Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, the arms up, reach up, gaze up. And then exhale, fold over the legs, keep the lower belly. Cooling. Inhale, pick up the chest, press the hands down, 
And exhale, walk back. Knees, chest, and chin to the ground. Keep your elbows in. Inhale, slide forward, press the feet down, pick up the chest, and exhale, push back with the hands, downward facing dog. This first down dog, you can pedal the knees, stretch the toes, stretch the feet. And then press away to the hands, wide on the shoulder blades, send the hips back, the pubic bone up towards the sky. Pull the belly in and towards the chest. And keep these actions happening, picking up the pelvic floor and sacking the lower belly clean throughout the practice. Inhale, bend the knees, walk forward, press down to the hands, and exhale, fold over the legs, pull yourself towards the shins. Inhale, press feet down and rise up, and exhale, hands by your sides. Two more times. Inhale, press the feet down, reach the arms up. And exhale, fall over the legs. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, walk back. Other foot flat first. Knees, chest, chin. Keep your elbows in. Inhale, slide forward. Pick up the chest, pull the shoulders back. And exhale, downward facing dog. From down, to bring your knees down. Cat cow position. Inhale, open up the chest, pull the shoulders back. And exhale, press into the hands, pull forward with the hands, round the back. Two more times, inhale, pull back with the hands, open up the chest. And exhale, push forward with the hands, round the back. One more time, inhale. And exhale, round the back. Press down and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, walk forward, half lift. And exhale, fold over the next. Inhale, rise up, reach up, gaze up. And exhale, fold forward right away, over the legs. Inhale, chest up. And exhale, walk or hop back, pressing down into the hands. Knees can come down, chaturanga. Chest forward, chin forward. Inhale, over our upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your hands towards the feet, just as a centimeter or two. And bring your left hands to the right heel. Pull and twist to the right for three. Keep pressing down into the hands. Gaze under the right armpit and towards the ceiling for two. Pull the shoulder blades down. Keep the legs straight for one. Change sides. Bring the left hand down. Right hand to the heel and pull. Twist for three. Keep your hips square. Keep pressing the feet down. Straighten the legs for two. Push down to the left hand, reach the left hip back, gaze under the armpit towards the sky. Forward. Inhale back to, the, to your dog, bend the knees and inhale, walk or hop forward, half lift, and exhale, fall over the legs. Inhale, chair pose, bend the knees, pull the belly, arms up, and exhale, fall forward. So we're gonna start a B. Inhale, pick up the chest, and exhale, walk or hop. Chaturanga. You can always bring the knees down. Inhale, cobra up, top. and exhale, downward facing top. Inhale, the right foot forward. Keep the left heel off the ground, high lunge. And exhale, twist, bring your left hand forward, right arm back, gaze towards the back. Four, three. If you want to make it harder, lift the right heel off the ground. Four, two. Keep the belly open up the chest. Four, one. Heel down, inhale the arms forward, up. And exhale, chaturanga. Press down. You can always bring the knees down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Pull the chest forward. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward, high lunge. Bring the arms up. And exhale, twist, gaze towards the back. Four, three. Leave the front heel if you did it on the other side. Four, two. Keep the back leg straight, reach out way through the arms, twist, forward. Kill down, inhale the arms up, and exhale, hands to the ground, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your feet together, and inhale the right foot up. Just back, 
and then exhale, open up the hip with a straight leg. Inhale here, reach out way, open right hip, and then exhale, bend the right knee and draw circles with the right knee. You go one way and then the other, exploring the range of motion. Then straighten the leg, square the hips, bring the foot down, hovering off the ground, and then touch the foot down and lift the right leg. Lift up and away. Inhale and exhale, open the hip, press down into the hands, lift the leg, foot up. Next, exhale, bend the knee and draw circles with the knee, exploring the range of motion of this hip. Four feet. Two, go the other way. And one, foot down, first hovering, and then bring the foot down. Open up the feet, down the bend the knees, and inhale, go we'll work up forward, half lift. Exhale, fold over the legs. In the Utkatasana, chair pose, keep the belly in. And exhale, rise up, arms by your sides. Last one, inhale, Utkatasana, chest up. And exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, press the hands down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale the right foot forward, left heel down, classical warrior one position, reach up. And exhale, fold, chaturanga, press down into the hands, pull the belly. Inhale forward, pull the shoulders back, and exhale, push away, down. Inhale the left foot forward, right heel down, warrior one. And exhale, fold, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. In downward, bring your knees down. Untuck the toes and bring your hands forward. Anakatasana. So we're sinking the chest. You can bring the forehead to the ground or the chin to the ground. If you're able, you can bring the chest to the ground. Reach back through the hips, pull the belly in and pick up the ribs so that you're opening through the shoulders. Four, three. Two. And one. First, come to the fingertips of your hands, so form touch with the hands, then straighten your arms, pull the belly in, round the lower back, pick up the ribs, and pick yourself up to the ribs. Then walk your hands back, child's pose, four, three. Two. And one. Come back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, lower up forward. And exhale, fall over the left. Inhale, chair pose, bend the knees, pull the belly in, interlace the fingers, and reach up to the palms. Sit back, sit down for three. Keep the chest open, gaze towards the hands. If it's too much for the neck, relax the head. Four, two. Keep reaching the hands back. And one, half chair, bring your belly to the thighs and shift the weight back. Four, three, all the way on the heel. Pick up your toes. Four, two, lift the arms higher up. Go up. Stay here. Bring your arms behind the back. Interlace the fingers. Inhale. Open up the chest. And then exhale. Fold over the legs. Hands interlace behind the back. Four, three. Keep all the weight at the front now, at the balls of the feet. Straighten the legs if possible. Four, two. And one. Gaze at your toes and see if you can lift the heel up. It's easier if you bend the knees. So choose whether you need to bend the knees. Four, three. And then with time, you can straighten the legs and bring your head closer to the ground, hands towards the back. Four, two. And one, release your arms, arms like wings. Keep your heels up. Four, three. Lift higher up, maybe even press the heels together. Four, two. 
And one, stay with the heels up, bring the hands to the ground. Knees in armpits or any variation of um, crow pose. So press into the hands, pull the belly in and lift. Four, three. Two. And one, walk or hop back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right foot forward. Left heel down. Pull the belly in, warrior one position. And exhale, warrior two position. Open up. Reach our way through the arms. You may need to open up the distance between the feet. Keep the front knee at 90 degrees. Press down into the feet. Reach your way through the arms. Three. Two breaths. Keep lifting up the back bottom ribs. And one. Reach forward through the right hand. And first straighten the legs and come to your triangle bridge. Hand to the shin or grab the big toe. Pick up through the left hand, four, three. Two. And one. Reverse triangle. So bring your left hand down and you can open up to the right or you can try to bring the left hand to the outside of the right foot. If needed, bring the back foot in and the toes in. Keep your hip, the right hip moving back, pull the belly in and open up through the chest. Four, three. Keep the left chest pushing forward, pull the shoulder blades down. Four, two. And one, good job. Bring your hands to the ground. Now open up the feet wider apart, just like in warrior two. And bring the right hand to the inside of the right foot. If it's too much, remember the variation where we're bringing the elbow over the knee. Otherwise, hand to the inside, pick up the right the left arm and bring it overhead. Think of casting a shadow with your left shoulder blade over the right. So really find that opening of the chest and reach out way through the fingertips. If you want to go to a bind, then bring your left hand behind the back, arm, right arm under the leg, and pull, um, away with the left hand. So you're grabbing the left wrist with the right hand and we're pulling away with the left wrist. Four, three, two, and one. Press the feet down, inhale, rise up, interlace the fingers behind the back, and exhale, fall, humble warrior. You can rest the right shoulder on the right knee, or go for the floor with the crown of your head. Keep the hands moving back, interlace, four, three, two, and one. Belly in, inhale, hands on the ground, and exhale, reverse, um, parsatonasana, parsatonasana, so reverse side angle. If you can go straight into it, you can go to the outside, open up, and twist. If you want the variation, bring the left knee down. Keep the hips forward. Bring your hands to the chest, then twist, then bring the elbow to the outside. You can stay, you can bring the arms down, or you can straighten the back leg and extend the top arm or three. Wherever you are, pluck the left shoulder blade down the back. Four, two. Keep the belly engaged, twist through the chest. As the shadow over the left shoulder blade. Four, one. Good job. Hands to the ground. Press down. Pull the belly in. Lift the right foot up and then back. Don't make any sound. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale forward. And exhale, push back. Downward facing dog. From down dog, you can always go to child's pose and rest. If you want to do some shoulder work, working towards um, forearm stunt, then from here, 
you can straight away go to dolphin and lift that. If your elbows cannot go all the way down, then go as low as you need to, but keep the elbows towards one another and lift that. If this is easy, come down, pull the belly, shift to chaturanga and push back. If this is easy, then elbows down, chaturanga, push up, chaturanga, elbows back and down. So choose your variation and play. You can do a couple of um, repetitions and then come to child pose. And when you're ready, you can even play with forearm stunt. If you're doing forearm stunt with the wall, then make sure that you're not just collapsing on the wall. So you can press inner hands and outer elbows down. Keep your elbows under the shoulders, pull the belly in. Lift your hips, just walk close. And if you're ready to jump, don't collapse on the shoulders. Keep the shoulders moving towards the feet. Lift one leg up, pull the belly in, gaze towards the front, bend the other knee and hop. And then find the ball pushing up. So you can play here, you can shift one leg out, try to um, switch the legs on the wall, and maybe push and hold. Four, five. Four. Keep playing with what you're playing, keep doing the exercise that works for you. Four child pose, four, three. Two. And one. Child pose for everyone. You need to finish what you're doing, finish what you're doing. Four, five. Four, three, two, and one. Let's all come to downward facing dog, pushing our way to the inner hands, widening the shoulder blades. Send back the hips up the pubic bone. Inhale the left foot forward, right heel down, warrior one position. Reach up. Reach out through the side body and then exhale, open up to warrior two. Bend the front knee, open up the distance between the feet if needed. Pull the shoulders back to open up the chest, pull the shoulder blades down and reach out way through the fingers. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, so first straighten, bring the back foot in. Triangle pose, reach forward and reach down. Keep your hips facing the side and reach up. If it's too much for the hips, bring the back toes in a bit so that the opening of the hip is not that exaggerated. Find the variation with your hands, reach up to the right arm, pull the shoulder of the legs up and breathe for three. Two and one. It's from here. Switch sides, so twist, sending the left hip back, pull the belly in and forward, rise the left arm up. If you can, bring the right hand to the outside of the foot. Pull the belly in, keep the left hip reaching back for three. Back foot can come in slightly for two. We're reaching our way through the arms. Four, one. Bring the left hand to the ground. Remember your options for Vazagonasana, side angle pose. Open up the distance between the feet, just like in Warrior Two. And you can open up from here. You can come higher if needed, or you can go to the inside and work for the bind. Grabbing the right wrist with the left hand and pulling our way to open up the chest. Four, three. Two. And one. Pull the belly in. Inhale, rise up or interlace the hands behind the back. And then exhale, humble warrior. Left hand on the shoulder. 
sorry, left shoulder, one the knee, or left head, or <laughs> crown of the head, to the left big toe, fourth knee. Two. And one, rise up. Again, you need to bring the knee down, untuck the toes, and find your twist. Anyway, you're getting there, reach away, maybe straighten, maybe lengthen, maybe bind, four feet. Two, keep the belly engaged, with cage lifting up and twisting at the top. Four, one. Good, slowly hands to the ground, frame the foot, push away, bring the foot up, and then back. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Elbow deep. Inhale, slide forward, press the feet down, and exhale, downward facing dog. Good, from down dog, we're going to the back of the mat. So you will walk the hands to the feet, or what you can do is take a small step to make it easier, bend the elbows, and with the force of your arms, keep the belly engaged, the legs strong, and come down with the legs straight, bend the elbows, and do a push-up to go to the feet and grab the big toes. Or walk the hands to the feet, grab the big toes. That I understand. Press the feet down, inhale, pick up the chest. And exhale, fold over the legs. Feet are keep distance apart. Four, three. Keep the weight forward. Press the balls of the feet down. Four, two. Pull up through the elbows, crown of the head towards the ground, forward. Inhale, pick up the chest, Parahastasana. Exhale, keep the weight forward, pull the belly in, pick up the chest. Inhale, bring the hands under the feet, and exhale, fold. Remember, you can bend the knees, forward. Keep the belly engaged, pull up through the elbows, forward. Two. Keep the legs straight if you can and shift the weight forward. Oh, one. Inhale, pick up the chest. Exhale, stay here. And then inhale, release. Bring your hands to your hips, chin to your chest. And inhale, rise up, keeping your chin to avoid any nausea, any dizziness. Okay. Feet hip distance apart. We will lift the heels up and press down through the balls of the feet. Try to keep your gaze at one point and keep your balance. Pull the belly in, the belly button up. And then from here, you will rise the arms up and really reach up through the shoulders. So widen the shoulder blades and really reach up through the shoulders. We will bring all the way to the left foot, pull the belly in. Stay as a strong plank with the whole body and then raise the right foot and take a small step forward, a controlled step. All the way to the right foot, keep the whole body strong, lifting up and take a small step with the left. So keep finding your balance, all your attention on the standing foot and make a step with the other foot. Keep your body strong so that you can hover in balance don't do any fast movements, control the movements. Whole body engaged, small, slow steps until you get to the front of the mat. When you're at the front of the mat, inhale and rise up higher. Keep your heels together. If you can, so feet together this time, reach up. And exhale, calm down, hands on your waist. Prasarita. Inhale the right foot back, open up to the side. Open up the chest. And exhale, come down, hands at the same line as the heels. Inhale, open up through the chest. And exhale, pull with the hands, bring the head to the ground. If you need to open up the feet wider so that the head comes to the ground, and if you choose to, if you know that you're not going to break something, you can press down to the head and the hands and lift up to try to headstand. Otherwise, stay there and breathe for three. Keep pressing down into the hands, elbows at right angles. 
shoulder width apart for two. And while you're high, bring the legs down slowly, feet to the ground, inhale, half lift. Exhale, stay there. Press feet down, inhale, hands to hips, rise up. And exhale, stay here. Inhale, open up the arms wide. And exhale, internally rotate the shoulders and bring the arms behind the back. Brow opposite elbows or bring the palms together in reverse prayer. Keep your arms in internal rotation and pull the shoulders back. Press forward through the inner chest. Inhale, open up the chest and exhale, fold forward. Press the outer feet down, shift the weight forward to the balls of the feet. Four, three. Keep your belly in and lift the rib cage towards the ground. Four, two. And on, press the feet and inhale, come up, rise up. Interlace the fingers and right away go to press the So interlacing the fingers, arms behind the back. Inhale, pick up the chest and exhale, fold forward, shifting the arms towards the back as you bring the head in between the legs. Four, three. Keep pressing outer feet down, pull the belly in, lift towards the ground through the rib cage. Four, two. Keep pulling the shoulders back. Press the palms together, lift the head to the ground, roll up. Press to inhale and rise up, reach up, and exhale, hands to the waist. Inhale, bring the arms up, reach up, and exhale, L shape. So bring the arms forward, forward, and then bring the hands down, grab the big toes. Inhale, open up the chest, and exhale, fold, forward, lift. Keep lifting up through the elbows, pulling the back, the big toes. Keep the legs straight, four, two. Pull the belly in, reaps towards the ground, head towards the ground, four, one. Inhale, pick yourself up to halfway and bring your hands under the shoulders. Samakonasana, side slits. Exhale, start heel toeing the feet apart and find the opening you need to go to today. If you need to, if you want to, come to the elbows. Four, three. Once you feel good, you can open up a bit more. Keep the outer feet pressing down so that the knees are not compromised. Four, two. And one. Slowly bring your hands down, heel to the feet. Make sure you have some distance behind you so I'm not to move forward. And then walk the hands back. Walk the hands back until you find your limit. And then come to sit on top of the arms. Now you can slowly slide your weight down or you can press down into the hands, pick up the chest. So you can lift one leg and maybe go squeezing the leg in to find your balance for three. Cool the belly in, keep pointing the feet for two. And one slowly come down, Upa Vista. Straighten the legs. Legs at 90 to 100 degrees, just like in your Prasarita, not wider open. Flex the feet, contract your thighs. Send the pubis back, pick up the chest, and exhale, fold forward. You can grab the outer feet. Four feet. Keep the feet flexed, the thighs working. Ground your sit bones and then send your pubis back, pull the belly in and reach forward through the chest. Four, two. Stay with it. And one. Pull the belly in and inhale, rise up. And exhale, release. Close the distance between the feet, point the feet. And then bring your hands to the outsides of the right leg. Pull the belly in, pick up the chest. And then from here, move towards the foot. If you want to make it harder, move the hands towards the feet. If you want to make it easier, move the hands towards the body. From here, we want to make an effort to raise the right leg up and then take it down. So it should really be a lot of effort. It should not be easy. You're not using the weight to lift up. And it should not be impossible. 
So find what works for you. Coin the feet, pull the belly, find that distance, open up the chest. No longer do it with the rounded back. From here, we'll do five lifts and we won't take the heel down. Pull the belly in, inhale, heel up. Exhale, heel forwards. Inhale, up. Exhale, forwards. Inhale, up. Exhale, forwards. Inhale, up. Exhale, forwards. And exhale, down. And you need to shake it off, bend the knee, shake it off. Other leg, no time to waste. Same distance, try it. If you find out that this leg needs more work or less work, then adapt accordingly. We want both legs to work the hardest that they can. So don't worry about balancing it out. Don't compromise one leg or the other. Pull the belly, open up the chest, point the feet. And then from here, inhale, rise up. Exhale, heel hovers. Inhale, up. Exhale, hovers. Exhale, hovers. Two more. Exhale, hovers. And exhale, down. Again, you need to shake it up. This hip flexor work will help you with all the pop loose. And good luck. So work with your hip flexors, work, work with your thighs. Pull the belly, open up the chest. Okay, lifting both legs. This time we're lifting on the exhale. We will make it easier. So we have that to look forward to. You don't have the exercise before too because lifting both legs is hard. So we want to bring our head hands back because that will make it too easy. But if you need it to be easy, just bring your hands close to your body. Pull the belly up, not the chest. The further you take the hands away, the harder. Coin the feet, keep the legs straight, open up the chest. And then inhale and exhale, lift. Inhale, hover, exhale, lift. Inhale, hover, three more, exhale, lift. Inhale, hover, exhale, lift. Inhale, hover, exhale, lift. Inhale, hover, and exhale, let's go. Good job. Take it off if needed. Mula Banda checks. So the rocket practice is known for this part. Take it easy. We've done this before. If you practiced with me before, you've probably done it before. So it's not something new. But with the rocket practice, this is something that you will be perfecting. So if you like rocket yoga, then you're bound to get good at this. So now you're bringing the whole palm on the ground. Palm um, quite close to the thighs. And you want to round the body this time. So you want to press down. We have four options. Number one, pushing, you lift the right leg, and then you take it down. Number two, pushing, you lift the hips, and take it and down. Number three, pushing, lift the hips, pick up the right leg, and take it down. Number four, push, lift hips, and legs. I'd rather you not do the first option because we've already worked with the hips. So try to lift the hip flexors. So try to lift the hips. So keep your hands close to the body and lift the hips. If you can't from there, you shift the weight back and you lift one leg and maybe you shift and you lift it. Okay. So you can sort of give it a try and then we'll start and we'll try to hold it for five minutes. So your legs are quite narrow. And like a 45 degree angle. We'll, we'll just lift today. We won't do any transitions. But from here, maybe I'll show you on the other side so that we live out of it. We get out with a transition. But right side first. So hands next to the thigh, elbows in, pull the belly in, shoulders back, shoulder blades down, and then round the back. Use your core work. Lift up to the mula banda, go through the pelvic floor, flex the legs, pick up and pick everything up if you can. Four five, pull the belly, push down with the hands. Four four, keep lifting up. Four three, pull the shoulder blades down. Four two, and one. Calm down and you need to shake it up. Okay, so while you're uh, resting, the transition, if you want to try, if you feel good with lifting up, the idea is that you will choose that, especially on the second side. Of course, it's good to do both sides. So you want to try the first side again after this, try. Otherwise, just lift up. But 
This is the transition. So from here, we lift up and then we go back with the leg and we go back and we fall and we continue with our um, vinyasa. So you can try that or you can just lift and then do our vinyasa. So second side, point the feet, pull the belly, pick up the chest, hands, and train the thigh. Elbows in, round the back. Use that round back position to contract your core, to use your chest and push to lift. Hips up, foot up, maybe the other foot, four or five. Keep pushing up. Four, four. Three, two, and one. Come down and do your vinyasa. Transition to whatever you need to. Inhale, outward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Bend the knees, get forward, and inhale, walk through or walk through. Using all of that hip action, and remember the transitions that we did last time. Pasimottanasana. So pushing forward through the hips, back through the pubic bone. Inhale, pick up the chest, and exhale, reach forward. Grab the big toes, forcing to keep lifting forward, and bring the hands down. Pull the belly in and lift the belly button away from the pubic bone. Exhale and relax. One, two, three, two, and one. Inhale the chest halfway up and exhale, come back. Without using the hands, bring the knee in and open up the hip. So the foot, the heel comes as close to the groin as possible. Pull the belly in, gaze towards the left foot, and exhale, fold down to Shasana. Again, hands on the ground, or any grip that works for you. Flex the foot, contract the left thigh, four, three, two, and one. Pull the belly in, inhale the chest up, and exhale, release. No hands, other side. Pick up the chest. And exhale, hold, four, three, two, keep sending the right cubic bone back, pull the belly in, lift the rib cage forward, pull the elbows back, the shoulder blades back, four, one, inhale up, and exhale, no hands, bring the feet forward. Bend the knees, the, far, the further away the, hand, the feet are, the easier. So the closer you bring the feet, the harder it will be not to lift the heels. So don't lift the heels, pull the belly in, pick up the chest. Easy option with the arms forward as counterweight, harder with the hands crossed in front of the chest, harder with the hands behind the head, hardest with the arms overhead. Keeping the belly in, choose how hard you want to go with it, and go back, keeping the heels down, controlling the movement. Keep pressing the heels down, don't lift the heels, Pull the belly in, go back and down slowly. Inhale and rise up. If you need an easier variation, go for the easier variation. Keep pressing the heels down, don't lift um, the heel. And then last one, if you want to go for a harder one, go for the harder one. Go down very slowly, pull the belly in, and come down slowly. From here, we will go to Halasana, Plow Pose. So you can bring your further away from the back if you don't have space. Inhale, go like that. And exhale, bring your legs all the way back. We want to bring the elbows and the shoulders closer together. And then you can place the hands as further up the back as possible. So down right now, but towards the upper back. And then bend the knees if needed and rise up to shoulder side. If today you need to do it against the wall, then just place your legs up the wall and breathe. Otherwise, try to find this straight line, pressing down into the shoulder blades, reaching up to the inner legs. Push your pubic bone forward and push your knees back so that you find that straight line. So pubic bone pushes towards the crown of the head, and knees move away from the head. Keep lifting up to the inner feet. Four, three, two, 
Then one leg come down overhead. Keep the hips lifting up back to Halasana. You can interlace the hands behind the back if the feet touch the ground. If not, keep the back supported. Keep the hips reaching up, pull the belly in and press the shoulder blades down. Feel a stretch at the back of the legs, reaching back through the feet and up through the hips and away to the cubic bone. Four, three. Two. And you are here, pressuring pose. If you choose to go further, bend the knees, hug your head with the knees. This is called ear pressuring pose. So press the knees against the ears and pull the head away. This is a flexion of the spine. So round your back and find your hips over the knees. Keep pressing the shoulders, the shoulder blades down to really lengthen your back, rounding your back. Pull the belly in, we catch towards the ground. Four, three. Keep breathing into the back. Four, two. And one. Straighten your legs, release your arms. You can have your arms up like brakes, or you can bring your arms by your ears to make it harder. Pull the belly in and slowly control your roll as you come down. Pull the belly in the whole time and control the movement. Then lower the legs down ever so slowly, controlling the movement, and very, very slowly the heels will eventually come to the ground. Bend your knees, bring your hands under your lower back, lift the hips, interlace the, hook the thumbs together, so that you help yourself with bringing the elbows in and the shoulders in. Sit on top of the hats, release the thumbs. Straighten the legs, fish pose, Matsyasana. Point the feet, pull the belly in, press down into the forearm, keep the head up. Internal rotation of the arms, and then pull the shoulders back, opening up the chest. Bring the head back, allow the head to hang. If it's um, productive for you, bring the head to the ground. But if bringing the head to the ground means that you will lose the back bend, then avoid doing it. Four, three. Keep the feet pointed, the legs strong. Four, two. Keep pulling the shoulders back. The chest is open. Four, one. From here, press down into the hands to release, to carefully unroll. Bend the knees, release the arms. Arms overhead, inhale, pull the belly in, and exhale, come up. If you need to, do what you need to do. <laughs> We're coming to headstand. So knee, hands and knees to the ground. Bring your elbows shoulder width apart, and interlace your hands. From here, you want to bring the elbows under the shoulders. So the idea is that with your mat, you can use that traction, that friction, to press down and then pull the elbows away. When you pull the elbows away, the shoulders, the elbows should still stay under the shoulders, not wider apart. Then form a cup with the hands, place the head down, crown the head on the ground, and support your head with your hands. By pressing your hands against your head, you feel your forearms activating. That's good. You want strong arms for head. Press the, arm, the elbows down and pull the elbows together. If you need to bring the knees closer. So now by pressing the elbows down and pulling the elbows together, you feel the shoulder blade widening and you feel the chest activating. That good means an active chest for head. So press the head down, press the elbows down, press the wrists down, pull the elbows together, widen the shoulder blades, feel the work happening. From here, you can always just stay here or tap the toes, lift up, and then you can walk in. Keep all the actions happening. Press it down to the head, wrists, elbows, pull the elbows together, reach the hips back, and lift up. If you cannot lift up yet, bring one knee in, and then the other, maybe four knees in. Keep pressing down to the head, activate the chest, widen the shoulder blades, and then lift up. Four or five. Four. 
If your legs are up, keep reaching up through the inner leg. Keep your glutes active. Keep the knees going towards the front of the mat. Keep your pelvis going towards the back. Accelerate in and keep the ribcage closed. Four, two. And one. If you don't have the control to come down with the legs straight, then bend the knees because you want to control the way down. So bend the knees, keep your hips moving towards the front of the mat so that you come down without making any noise. Feet on the ground, bend the knees, and find child pose, arms by your sides. Four, five. Four. Keep breathing. Four, three. Deepen your breath. Lengthen your breath. Two. And one. Chaturanga. Press the hands down, elbows in, push up, and you can bring one foot back at a time or hop your way to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, pull the chest forward, and exhale, downward facing dog, push away through the hands. One more time, hopping through, so cross the legs that way if you want to, or walk through. Inhale, and come through, and exhale, cross the shins. Interlace the elbow uh, to the ground, opposite elbow behind the back, and fold forward. Four, five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale the chest up, extend your arms out, bring thumbs and index fingers together, extend the other three fingers of each hand. Again, find that internal rotation of the arms and then pull the shoulders back, exposing the chest. Ground your six bones, but pull the lower belly in and lift up. Relax your face, find your jaya breath. Contracting the lower part of the throat, making an ocean like sound. Concentrate on the sound of your breath, even the breath out, making the inhale as long as it exhales, making the breath smooth, continuous, deep, long and steady. Stay here as long as you need to. And when you're ready for Shavasana, make sure you do gentle movements, controlled movements, and come to lie down, face up, or in any comfortable position for complete relaxation. Shavasana is a gift we give to our body at the end of the practice. Allow your body to take advantage and benefit from full stillness. Letting go of any effort and surrendering to peace and tranquility. Relax.
gently start by bringing your awareness back to your body. Back to your breath. stretch and wake up in the way you need to use your breath, use your movement to push the whole body. And we'll be in a seated position in one minute. position and a strong spine, reaching up through the back of the head, pulling the shoulders back to expose your heart, and then inhale deeply all the way up the spine. And exhale through the mouth, and everything that doesn't serve you just go. Inhale deeply. And then exhale through the nose and allow everything that you built out during the practice to find its place in your body. Inhale your hands to heart center. We can bow to appreciate everything that you have, everything that you are, and all the teaching.